kuganya icho chekiretawo abamo kwicha poverty is a is a big barrier to free and fair and inclusive elections one whether people can freely exercise their choices without undue influence, without being bribed. That's a very important issue. The candidates, the choice of candidates becomes in, in, uh, incredibly important. For example, who is capable of offering himself or herself for election may be a subject of money. Where there is poverty, people will want to, you know, to, to, to be facilitated. And if you don't have funds or you don't have money to spend, it becomes difficult for you to offer yourself. So the question of ideas vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, money becomes critically important. Poverty also is very disenabling in terms of the environment, ensuring security for all, ensuring a criminal, a crime-free zone for elections is also, is also an issue. So. Poverty has an, an adverse and negative impact on an, an electoral process. Many benefits, of course. As you are aware, the current electoral laws, all of the, most of them were enacted during the government system era. So this government benefits from these uh, bad electoral laws. Uh, for example, the law allows the president to use his vehicles and his office and the government fuel and the government money during the campaigns. There is no separation between a presidential candidate and a sitting president. The person remains the same and therefore enjoys, enjoys all the benefits of his office as a candidate. And uh, compared to the, other, the others who are competing with him, for them they have nothing. So that means the ground is not leveled. Yes.